Betta fish are not just pretty decorations for your room. They're intelligent creatures that can form strong bonds with their owners. In this video, we'll share simple tips on how to create a bond with your betta fish and create a meaningful relationship with your favorite pet. If you love your fish and would like to create a bond with it, watch this video until the end as we have a lot to cover today. Let's get started. It's common to hear people say fish can't be great pets like dogs or other animals. It's because you can't interact with fish as much as you do with other animals. But the reality is that there are several ways you can extend your bond with your betta fish. Number 1. Name your betta fish. You can't make a connection with a nameless creature, so pick a name that suits the personality of your pet betta fish. If you need some help finding betta names, we already have an awesome fish name suggestion video on our channel. A betta is sensitive to vibrations in the water caused by sounds such as human voices, which some people believe means it can recognize your voice and its name. Say your betta fish's name every time you visit to see if you can trigger a reaction. It is also beneficial if you talk to the fish, since it keeps you connected to it and it may begin to recognize you as its owner. Can betta fish really recognize their owners? Betta fish are intelligent and social creatures that enjoy interaction and attention. Over time, your betta fish may learn to recognize you and associate you with positive experiences like feeding and playing. However, it's important to remember that each betta fish has its own personality and preferences, so not all betta fish will bond with their owners in the same way. Number 2. Keep your fish tank in an active area. Betta fish usually prefer to live alone, but they easily get bored in their tank. In my experience, betta tanks near an active part of the house or office keep them curious and happy. Place your betta fish tank in a high-traffic, regularly occupied part of the house, like the living room, the kitchen, or your office. It doesn't matter if they aren't being interacted with directly, betta fish like movement and action. Try moving the tank around the room sometimes to keep it fresh. Also betta fish require a clean and healthy environment to thrive. You can keep the tank clean by performing regular water changes and keeping the tank free of debris. A clean tank will help your betta fish feel more comfortable and relaxed, which will make it easier to bond with them. Number 3. Give it visual stimulation. The male betta is known to flare his fins when seeing his reflection in a mirror or encountering another betta fish. It is debatable whether frequent mirror flare-ups are good for your betta, but I would recommend using the mirror for a few minutes every day to provide them with some exercise that is fun for pet keepers as well. You can also doodle on the tank with dry erase markers or apply sticky notes cut into different shapes, or just simply place new and interesting objects just outside the tank. Betta fish are curious creatures that enjoy exploring their surroundings. You can provide a stimulating environment for your betta fish by adding plants, decorations, and hiding spots to the tank. This will give your betta fish plenty of opportunities to explore and play. It's really fun to watch your betta investigate and react to these new tank additions. Number 4. Spend time with your betta fish. You can spend time with your betta fish by simply sitting next to the tank and observing them. The best way to bond with a betta is to treat it like any other pet animal. Growing a bond with any type of creature takes effort, patience, openness, and care. Betta fish are responsive to sound and can recognize their owner's voices. You can talk to your betta fish to help build a connection with them. This will also help your betta fish get used to your presence and feel more comfortable around you. Number 5. Play with your betta fish. You should never tap a fish tank because the sound is amplified in the water and will stress out your fish. Instead, trace your finger along the glass and watch the fish's reaction. It is likely that your betta will start coming over to your finger and even following it along the tank wall as it slides along. You might be able to get your fish to twist and loop in its pursuit. Bettas like to come to the surface, so bobbing toys and other objects can be a good idea for playtime as well. You can also provide toys like floating balls or tunnels for your betta fish to explore. Check out the How to Train Your Betta Fish video on our channel for plenty more playtime ideas. No one wants their betta fish to live in small, tiny cups like these. If you're with me, show some love by hitting that subscribe button and smashing the like button. Because together, we can spread the word and give these beautiful creatures the happy, healthy lives they deserve. Number 6. Training your betta. 
Like most animals, food treats can be powerful motivation for your betta to train. With some patience and practice, your fishy friend can learn some fun tricks. You can teach your betta to eat from your fingers by placing your digits increasingly closer to the food pellets you place in the water until the fish takes the food right from them. Your betta may even be able to leap out of the water to take food from your fingers. The lure of food can be used to teach bettas to swim or sometimes even leap through hoops. You might also, with practice, be able to teach your fish to push that ping pong ball it plays with into a net. Number 7. Feed it properly. There are three main foods you should feed betta fish, betta fish pellets, bloodworms, and baby brine shrimps. In a day, two feedings of four to five pellets or six to seven bloodworms or brine shrimp should be enough for your pet fish. Bettas will overeat if given the chance, to the detriment of their health. They can also suffer from constipation, so you have to be careful when feeding them to avoid getting them sick. Betta fish can learn to recognize their owners and associate them with food. You can offer food to your betta fish by hand, which will help to build trust and strengthen the bond between you and your fish. Do betta fish bite when being fed by hand? Betta fish are not typically aggressive towards humans, and they are not known for biting. Even if they bite you, it won't hurt any worse than a minor nibble on your fingers. However, they can become territorial and aggressive towards other fish in the tank. This is why it's important to provide a suitable environment with plenty of space and hiding spots. It's also important to avoid touching your betta fish or invading its space, as this can cause stress and potentially lead to aggression. It'll also get rid of the slime coat on their bodies, which is important for betta fish. So I wouldn't recommend touching your fish more often. Number 8. Provide a proper home. You may have seen a betta in someone's home or office swimming around in a vase or even a drinking glass. Because bettas often prefer to live alone, many people mistakenly assume that they don't need or want much water to call home. You may hear people say that bettas like small spaces because their natural habitat is small puddles left by buffalo tracks in their native Southeast Asia. While betta fish are sometimes found in such cozy bodies of water, this is more a testament to their resilience during the dry season. It is not an indication of their preferred lifestyle. In reality, bettas like quite a bit of space to roam, so you should select a tank that holds at least 3 gallons, and even up to 10. This may seem like a lot of tank space for one small fish, but you're more likely to have a happy and healthy betta this way. The tank should also be heated to between 76 degrees and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and have a simple filter that does not churn up the water too much. Keep the tank clean and change the water on a regular schedule. I hope you find these tips on bonding with your betta fish helpful. Remember to be patient and consistent in your interactions with your betta fish, and you'll soon develop a meaningful relationship with your betta fish. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your own tips and experiences in the comments below. Also hit that like button if you find this video helpful. See you in the next video in a week.